I just took a drive out to XFX and uh, they gave me this nice little box which uh, hopefully has some really interesting content. So uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, open this box up. All right, let's open this box up and let's see what we've got going on here. All right, first of all, we have the new Radeon HD 5770. This is the, basically the higher end of the mid-end cards of the new uh, ATI 5 series cards. We've also got the lower end card of that, which is the new uh, HD 5750. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, open these boxes up and see what we've got to offer inside. By the way, these boxes are really small. A lot smaller than the most normal boxes that you'll see. Great for good shelf space, I'm sure. Okay, let's open this up. All right, in the 5770, we've got a free copy of Battle Forge right here. I guess you download this game. It's free, it also supports DirectX 11. We have the installation guide, the quick install guide, and obviously the ATI graphics card drivers. Uh, here's the accessory box. Let's take a look here. Let this little thing open up. You get the Crossfire connection, the VGA adapter for older monitors, and you also get the six pin power connector to connect to the video card and supply its power. Throw all this stuff back in here. XFX also gives a door knocker for those of you gamers who don't want to be disturbed by your parents. Just put this on your door and the parents who can read will ignore you. Finally, we get to the card itself. Let's see what we got going on here. Here is the new Radeon HD 5770. This is the XFX version. So let's get this out of the way. Okay, and now let's take a look at the new HD5750 and see what's in store in that box. Packaging is pretty much the same as the 5770. Almost identical, in fact, all the way down to basically when you get inside the box. It still comes with the quick install guide. It comes with the drivers. It comes with the installation guide. It does not, however, come with a free game. And in the packaging content, all you get is a six pin power connector. There's no VGA adapter and there is no crossfire. Once again, you get a card knocker for those pesky parents. Or I guess for, for those of you that are married, for those pesky wives. Here's a look at the card. It's actually much different than the 5770. The 5750 is much smaller. It's about an inch smaller than the other card. The heatsink signature is only right on the GPU itself. Actually, the card should run a bit cooler due to the fact that the card is more exposed and should dissipate better heat. The RIO is exactly the same. Dual DVI, single HDMI, and DisplayPort. DisplayPort technology is starting to just hit the market now. You'll probably see many monitors come out later on this summer with that. But there you have it. Uh, here's the unboxing of the new XFX line of the ATI 5770 and 5750. There you go.